privacy concerns and new technology have been a hundred-year-old cycle at least. Uh, I just had a paper published in the Yale Journal of Law Technology and we call it a theory of creepy and we look the back. theory of creepy. A theory of creepy because so much of this debate is, well, that would be creepy. And well, how do you tell a company what that means? Somebody's creepy is somebody else's cool gadget. When uh, Kodak cameras first became popular, there were rules seeking to ban them in public parks because that was outrageous. Somebody would take a camera into the street instead of a studio and photograph you, right? When caller ID came out, it was gonna be a terrible privacy intrusion. You, you would know uh, who's calling. And today, it's been a great privacy advantage. So I think we need to give some of these technologies a little bit of time. Um, when we see real abuses, let's make sure we've got law or FTC enforcement. But in some other places, we probably need a little bit of time to adjust, figure out what's really going on. Um, ask you know, some of the lawyers and the uh, lawyers to sit in the back of the room, some of the policymakers to sit in the back of the room, and ask some of the technologists and innovators to say, how could you design this so it actually does the good things we want it to do and that it doesn't do the problematic things that people are concerned about? But it sounds like you're advocating a little bit of the Wild West for a few years while we figure out you know, what's creepy and what's not. Oh, let's hit the abuses, right? But I think we do need to spend a little bit of time. Uh, I'm looking at a bill uh, that was just introduced in California uh, last week, and it says, connected cars, we're not sure what they're really gonna look like, but everyone should be able to take their data out of that connected car because that's good for privacy. And I look at that and I say, um, could the security people please show up and say, I'm not quite sure that, you know, having the data be completely open so that anybody can grab it is a good idea. Let's figure out the right balance so that we make sure that people can see what's going on, but that the bad guys can't, you know, go in and take control of your car. Sorry, so that bill was saying that you take all the private data, like what, where you're driving and... Anybody should have access to the data about their car, right? Which sounds sort Any of individual or anybody in general? Any individual or anybody that they authorize. Oh, but that means one phishing email, hey, your insurance company would like, you know, access, and the next thing we know, you know, some hacker has access to your car. So we gotta get the privacy and security balance right, and we've gotta be a little bit humble about, you know, thinking about legislation, but thinking about it in a measured way when we see an actual problem and not jumping just because it's in the media.